Hi guys, Mike Martin here. So today I'm going to go through a quick update that we've done to Page Rewriter, which should really help you guys. So um, for this example, I'll just use Plumber <clears throat> and I'll just type in London, England. We'll pull in London, type in Plumber, okay, and I'll click Get Content. So what this is doing now is it's going to go off. It's going to collect all the content from the first page of Google. Now, in a lot of situations, the content that comes back from the first page of Google is not always perfect for what we want. So basically, in some cases, you've got uh, content from yell.com you've got content from wikipedia you've got content from sites that are just not like yours so you're really just not interested at all in the content that they provide so <clears throat> excuse me if you look on here you can see we've got one two three four five six we've pulled back six different sites but as you can see from that very bottom one that's wikipedia yes right and then we can go through and have a quick look so what we're going to do is go to the bottom here you see this domains tab we can open this up and we can see okay so my plumbers come back Pimlico Plumbers come back, Plum Force Directs come back, Aspect.co.uk, Check a Trade. I don't know what all these sites are, but I would imagine that we probably want to hide details from at least Check a Trade and Wikipedia. So we've got two options. You can hide the content, right? So now if I go back up, their content has now been hidden, so it won't be used. So if I press all these and add this in, none of their content is being used, only the content from the ones that we've not hidden. However, on some occasions, you're going to be looking at this and thinking, well, I never, ever want anything from Wikipedia. Okay, so because we never want anything from Wikipedia, we do this, and we're probably never going to want anything from Checker Trade. So we do this. Now we're in a position where not only will it have hidden it from here, but it will have also added it to our global blocked list. Okay, so I know I never want any content from yell.com. Okay, Ooh, it's not coming. I click add record. <clears throat> so I'm never going to want anything from yell. I'm never going to want anything from Yelp.com and various other sites like that. So as, as you can now see, if I now redo the search, get content, click replace, we should only receive content from the sites that are left and not receive anything from Wikipedia or from Checker Trade was the two that we got rid of. So now we've got the types of sites that we want to be competing against, which are sites like us, which are plumbers like us or roofers or electricians or whatever site you're trying to build. Um, meaning that the content you're going to create is going to be content from that type of website. Um, next step for this, guys, <laughs> just so you know what we're thinking and where we're thinking with this. And the next step we're going to do is you're going to be able to obviously create some sort of SEO report, which is going to compare all the sites that you pull the content back from for that particular search, for that keyword and that location, meaning you're then in a position where you're comparing your site to the sites that are winning. You can do that to the top three, top four, top five, which means that when we are creating our content templates, we're going to be able to create things that are actually compare on, on um, just compare to the sites at the top of Google. You'll see what I mean when it comes. Okay, so now you can now, you can now hide domains for the content you don't want to receive. You can have global block list. And the next thing that's going to come is going to be a report that's going to enable you to actually check out all the SEO factors and make sure that your page kind of fits or works with the ones at the top of Google. So fits and works with, with the top three. If you compare to the top three, then you've got a better chance of beating all the rest. Well, that makes sense. Cheers very much. Thanks. Bye-bye.